Hello, welcome to your weekly oracle card reading from the 24th through the 30th of April. I would like to draw a card to see what the general energy will be like for all of us, which is inclusive of all of the 12 signs. I will draw one card for the weekdays and another card for the weekend while taking a look also at the shadow card. I'm using Doreen Virtue's Angels Tarot Cards deck, and even though there are 78 cards in this deck that follow the standard tarot organization, I really do consider these as more oracle cards because they do have messages written on the bottom of them. So let's go ahead and see what the energy is going to be for us for the week ahead. And I do have uh, an amethyst stone here. And also I wanted to just sort of bring in this energy. I was led to include it in the shot here. Amethyst does get its name, I believe, from the Greeks. But I do know that it means um, to be not drunk. So that's what the name stands for, amethyst. And it is... Uh, a stone that helps with sobriety and also um, helps aid against any sort of addictions, whether it's drinking alcohol, um, drugs, um, food, people, whatever kind of addictions or self-limiting behaviors that we may be indulging in. So let's go ahead and see what the energy is for us for the weekend. Okay, that's the first card. That's the second card. Okay, so I'm getting a specific message coming in with this and this. I would bide your time for better results. Whenever I see the four of air, it means to sort of rest in order to review things and sort of, um, you know, review things over before you make your next steps. The Eight of Fire is saying that there's an energy that's sort of picking up at a faster pace here. It's a, it's a faster speed and there is a lot of news and messages and information. It's almost like information overload with this card or it could just be like a fast paced sudden message that comes in. There's a sudden opportunity that you may have coming this week and it does look like there could be some sort of you know change of plans or revision that needs to be made or that will be made to those plans. The Seven of Air is also you know reviewing your other options and what I'm getting is that to bide your time because the plans that you put into motion um, may require some modification of the details. It's not like your plans are going to fall through or anything, but I just see, you know, that it's going to maybe take a different route than intentionally planned. And I do still feel like this has to do with the Mercury retrograde energy that we're, we're in right now because the Eight of Fire is all about communication and that's what Mercury stands for. We have the Seven of Air which is, you know, maybe we're not 100% out of the clear yet with sort of crossed wires, miscommunications, or plans that sort of um, will be corrected or um, accommodated for in a different way. Um, this is also saying like just be careful of being like trigger, trigger happy. So um, I know that you may be excited about plans that come in this week or some things that may arise and you're like you just want to act right now because there could have been like a waiting period recently that you had gone through. Um, I speak to you as in everyone, all of us. This is just saying like okay even though there's a lot of excitement around this and it's, there's a uh, impulse to move forward immediately, it just looks like, you know, maybe there there's some information that's being left out, not intentionally, but just like maybe by mistake. Um, there could be like an email attachment, that, an email that's missing an attachment, or there could be, you know, an address that's sent to your phone with a, you know, a different 
um, house number on it and you know or maybe the GPS is on the fritz or something like that with messages and um, some sort of mistake or miscommunication here okay not fully seeing the whole picture so whatever you want to move into uh, move forward with and put into motion based upon this news that you'll be receiving this week I would just make sure that everything is a hundred percent clear you know make sure to double check and verify what's coming in because the seven of air says plans that need revision more going on than meets the eye and also poor timing doesn't mean that it's going to fall through it just means that there you know could be a plan b okay so the eight of fire says events moving at a fast pace delays are over many things happening at once okay and the four of air, bide your time, rest. We still have another four weeks. Um, or I see the four as being an indication of time here. Um, but it says take time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. Four is also rep represent stability. And it can be a stable mindset here that you have where you're really sort of fixed on the outcome in your mind and it's saying here to be a little bit flexible okay so this is the energy that i'm seeing for all of us for this um week ahead i i hope this was helpful to you and that you enjoyed this video thank you so much for liking my videos and for subscribing to my channel i'll see you in the upcoming weekly videos or the monthly videos or any of the tutorials thanks so much and be well